你好嘛，哥哥，我今天开始见了。今晚我教你，你的舞会上完。Today we are going to be focusing on homonyms and homophones. If you don't know what they are, homonyms are words that are spelled the same, but they and they're pronounced the same, but they mean different things. Homophones are are spelled differently. They're said the same, and they mean different things. So Chinese, all dialects, just consist of a lot of different words that mean more than one thing. Some words have like eight different meanings depending on the tone and the context that you say it in. English is extremely limited compared to Chinese, so we're going to get into them now. First off, I want to give a big shout out to the Hoi San Phrases group and all the members there. They are so kind and so amazing. Anytime I need help with translation, especially the English translation. Because sometimes it's hard. Like I know what they mean in Thai Chinese, but to translate them into exact English is quite often difficult because English is so limited. So I will be giving a special thanks and be naming the largest contributors to this video at the end of this. So please keep watching, and I do hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Now, now, so now means. Generally crazy. That's usually the the way we say it, but it also means cow. So we can say ngao ngao, which is like crazy cow to call someone like derogatory names, like stupid idiot ngao ngao, or you can say ngao ngao. So it's ngao. So that is a word that has two meanings. Next is new. New. Can mean to urinate. It can mean to twist off, and it can also mean to be angry. Ni niu ngai ma? Are you angry at me? Ni niu ni ge hao? I'm going to twist your head off. That was said often to me as a kid. Kui u niu? He peed, <laughs> or she peed. But he and she are interchangeable in Chi in Chinese because we have one word. That describes both male and female. There's no feminine and masculine in our dialect. It's just kui for both he, she. It's the same thing. Kia. Okay, so kia can mean foot. It can also mean remember, and it can also mean stale. Aya ni chiu kia. Oh my god, you have stinky feet. Ni kia ma. Do you remember? Ngoi ni kia ko. I don't remember. I think that's the way to say it. I don't actually. I've never actually used the word stale because uh, I wouldn't dare tell my Yingyin that any of her food is stale. So that yeah, I don't know that. But if that is the wrong way to use it, please let me know. Those uh, for those of you who are native Taishanese speakers. Next is gao. Gao can mean dog. It can mean teach. It can mean tired. Teach my gao ni. My gao ni hoi sama. I'm teaching you, or I teach you hoi sama. Gao doi. It's a dog. My whole gao. I'm very tired. Ni ge gao na ya. Next is chang. Chang can mean orange, like the color. But when we say orange, we say chang sit. Sit has to be said at the end of colors. I don't know why. It just sit means color. So we'll also get to that too. That's one of our words. And chang also means cooking pot. Ni yong a chang ma. Do you use the cooking pot? Ni xia nian chang jie ma. Chang guo that means an orange. But to refer to the color, it's chang sit. Next is how. Usually, when we say how, it's either head or mouth, but it also means after, thick, to steal, and to rest. I'll just you. I'll just give you an example of the most popular ones because those are the ones I actually use. Ni hao kia ma. Do you have a headache? Ngoi ge hao. Ni ge hao. My mouth, your mouth. Hao hao. After. Siu. Siu. Very few. Um, it can also mean hand, like a seal, and it can mean collect. We have seal with him. He has very little money. Next is fly, fly, fly can mean、uh, wash. It can mean west, waste, small, and young. We fly new seal, wash your hands. We fly ten. He wastes all his money. Next is ten. 
Ta'en means money, it also means a thousand. Kui ho u ten, he has a lot of money. Yi ten, one thousand. Next is ji. Ji can mean to live. Mo ji o meko. It also means pig. It also means to cook, paper, and to point. Say hen. So, yeah, ji ha. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And also means cook, like ji fan. Next is si. Si means ship. Rat, book, time. It also means poem, to try, tree, and market. Ma can mean mother, and it's also at the end of a question, and it can also mean horse. To make anything a question in Chinese, you have to put a ma at the end of it, or it's not really a question. Next is ba. Ba. Ba can mean hundred, it means white, it also means uncle, and it can mean yi ba mun, one hundred dollars. Kwa ne hai ba se, this is white. Again, we put se at the end of it to make it a colour. I called my paternal great grandmother ba ba. Next is pi. Pi is skin, it also means peel, and it also means fart. When you, when you link it with the word stomach, or pi, or a stomach, that means to fart. Um, skin is like a pea. Niga pea ho liang. Your skin is very beautiful. Ni pea ga pengoma. I guess that means did you peel the apple? Next is ang. Ang. Ang can mean and. Kui ang kui ga pang yu. Her and her, him, her and her, his friend. Also means wait. Ni ang yi ta. Wait a second. Also means cha and stool. Ni tuo ni ga ang. Next is cha. Cha can mean tea, and it can also mean fork. Ni yonga cha ma, ni niem cha ma, ni liang niem cha ma, u long cha. And next is hai. Hai, when I think of hai, I think of the worst word because that's probably the way most Hoisan people say it. It literally means cut. It also means shoe, to look at, and crap. Ai ya kui chiu hai. Next is Min. Min can mean face, it can mean noodles, it can mean understand. This is Lam. Lam can mean blue if you say Lam Se. It can also mean carry. Liang means to want, it also means photos. And it can also mean to wake, wake up. Kui xiang mia, yin xiang, mui xiang hui gai, mui xiang hui gai. Next is se. We've been saying se. Se means color, so you say it at the end of colors. It also means to know, and it also means paint. Ni se hui san wa ma. Do you know hui san wa? Next is hak. Hak also means the color black, so you can say hak se. And it also means to scare, like frighten. My heart I was, I was like scared to death. Next is look. Look is also green, so you can say look se, green, and you can also say six. It's the number six. Yi ni xiang li lo. Next is I. So if you say I, it means short. It can also mean low, and it can also mean big. Or I boy. Oh, I go. So if the tone is going lower, that means it means it's large. If it's ho I, that means it's short. Like kui ho I, he or she is very short. Next is hum. Hum can mean salty. It can mean to call, and it can mean to suck. Ni ham kui loya. Call him to come over here. Kuo na ho ham. Like ham on. Next is nai, nai, nai nai. Yeah, it's a way to say grandmother as well. Um, Nai means well, milk, it also means where, it can also mean dirt, but I usually say the first two. I usually use that when it comes to milk and where. Ni hoya naya, where are you going? Ni liang yim nai nai ma, do you want milk? And that's usually how you say it to a child because for some reason when we speak to children we double up the words because it's cute. Song song ya nai nai ya. Next is fan. Fan can mean cooked rice and it can also mean to return. 
We have a different word for uncooked rice, like the stuff you buy at the supermarket before you boil it. That's called mai. So fan specifically means rice that's ready to eat. Ni hea fan ma. Kui fan ki, he returned home. Next is no. Kui no hi kui. She or he was yelling at the other person to death. It also means brain. Kui mo no. He doesn't have a brain, he's brain yet. Chiang. It can mean to sing. Kui chiang guo. And it also means long. Ho chiang. La chiang. <laughs> La chiang is like a Chinese sausage. Or, or can mean stomach. Kui u tia. He has, he or she has a stomach ache. Ho u ten. Lots of money. Cha. It can mean car and it can also mean so. Ni cha kwana sam. So these clothes. Mo chiang so cha. I want to drive a car. An. It can mean egg. It could mean bill and it could mean light. Mi hoi anya, turn on the light. Ham an, the salty egg. Right, that is all for today. We will definitely do more if you guys like these kinds of homonym homophone videos. I want to again give a special shout out to the Hoi Sound Phrases group. I suggest that you all join if you are interested in our dialect. Whether you are Hoi San and you never grew up speaking or you don't know it, or you want to learn it, or you're part Hoi San, or if you're not Hoi San at all and you're just really interested in. Uh, learning a dying language and the culture everything is we have our own kind of thing apart from other Chinese like people don't realize how diverse the cultures in China are really it really means a lot to me and in no particular order I will name the largest contributors for this video it's really it really means a lot to me so first off Hui Ga Min, Daryl Chin, John Tam S. Mayer, Pearl Lee, Victor Ju, Y. Hom, Marie W. Chan, Les Guy, Leyland L. W. Wong, Ken Hom, Michael Kwong, Lin J. Hom, Warren Lee, and Harry Jane. Again, Ode Shlaini, and if you have any suggestions for my next video, please do let me know what topics you'd want to see. What kinds of videos you'd want me to do. I was actually thinking of doing a video showing my grandparents' villages and she wants to say she says hi ni oma god she's so cute she's so cute Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon and please keep a lookout. Consider subscribing if you want more content and I invite you to leave a comment below. Bye-bye.